So in this video, I'll be making one of the most popular breakfast dishes in the world, the omelette. Today, there will be a square off between the French omelette against the Western American omelette. High in protein, low in carbs, so simple and easy to make. So let's get straight into it. Hey everyone and welcome back to Versus Chef where we make two versions of the same dish and compete them against each other. Now as you can see in the chart, you only need a few simple high quality ingredients to make both versions of this recipe. Now the omelette is a dish made from beaten eggs. It is usually fried in oil or butter in a pan. There are many different variations of the omelette, however in this video I'll be showing you how to make two of them. Now first up we'll be making the classic French omelette. Now the French omelette should be smooth, creamy with no browning and a souffle like texture. It is made with a few simple high quality ingredients. So for this dish we have today, the ingredients are butter, some salt, chives, and three free range eggs. Now remember, they must be high quality free range eggs. We don't want the caged up eggs as they don't have the same mild taste as the free range. Now start off by cracking the eggs in a bowl. Beat the eggs so the yolk are completely combined with the whites. Be sure to salt the eggs at this stage. A few cracks should do. Now turn the stove on a medium to low heat. For the French omelette, you normally need a high quality omelette pan. However, I've only got a cheap $5 pan from Kmart, but it should still do the trick. Now, at this stage, melt the butter, move it around the pan, be sure to get the edges, as you can see from what I'm doing here. Now, once that's heated up, the next step is to pour in the egg mix. Using a rubber spatula in a circular and figure eight motion, shake and scramble the eggs. Be sure to shake the pan in a back and forth motion. As you can see here, this should only take about 30 seconds to about a minute. The next step is to scrape the eggs in a round circular motion and cook until the eggs solidify. The eggs should still look wet, which is exactly what you want. This creates that beautiful smooth texture. Now the next step is to tilt the pan and roll the omelette. Because I've got a cheap pan from Kama, it didn't work out properly. It still got stuck, but I'm still happy how this omelette turned out. Now the next is to invert the pan on a plate. Once this is done, sprinkle and garnish it with chives. Once that's been plated up, gently spread some butter on the omelette. This creates that beautiful shiny glaze on the exterior as you can see here. And finally, you are done. Congratulations, you have made yourself a authentic French omelette. So smooth, so creamy, so tasty, and more importantly, so easy to make. Enjoy. Now next up, we'll be making the American omelette. Now for the Western omelette, it is a lot less fussy and much, much easier to make. And the best part of it is you can add your own delicious fillings. So the ingredients we have for this recipe today are three free range eggs, some salt, pepper, olive oil, and any filling you like. For this video, I'll be keeping it nice and simple and using only cheese and good old ham. Now, same as earlier, start off by cracking the eggs in a bowl. Beat the eggs and be sure to salt the eggs. 
At this stage, you can also crack in some black pepper if you like. The next step is to turn on the stove to a medium heat. Add in some olive oil to the pan and slowly let that heat up. The next step is to pour in the egg mixture. At this stage, pour the egg mixture in. You could also add a little bit more salt if you like. Now, as the egg starts to set, use a spatula and push the outer edges towards the pan. Continue to cook until the eggs are nearly set. Now, the next step is the fun bit. Add in your fillings. At this stage, you can add anything you like. Some people use capsicum, some use red onion, some people use mushrooms. But to keep things nice and simple, and also because I'm a little bit limited with ingredients today, I'll be using just simply ham and cheese. Add them onto half of the eggs and let that sit for about a minute or two. Once this is done, fold the eggs in half. The residual heat will melt the cheese and heat up the ham. Now the next step is to turn off the stove, remove it on from the pan and plate the omelette. Now congratulations, once this is done, you have made yourself an official American omelette so tasty, very quick, very easy, and the perfect breakfast to kickstart your day. Now let me know in the comments below which one is your favourite omelette. Is it the smooth, elegant French omelette, or is it the classic American omelette? Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. My dream is one day to make 10,000 subscribers, so hopefully you can all help me get there. Uh, now, I'll be posting a new video every week where we make two versions of the same dish. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.